Hey guys, we're gonna be decorating our Couchella cookie kit today. Um, I've got all my stuff laid out. Um, as you can see, I actually have a fan here today too. Um, I'm gonna use that to help dry um, my cookies in between steps a little bit more quickly. You don't have to have one, but it is a good help if you do. Any kind of fan would work. Um, we're gonna get started with our camper. And we're gonna flood him with white icing. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna check and make sure that there's no color separation in your icing bag. If there is, just go ahead and give it a little bit of a mix with your fingers like this. Make sure everything's all mixed up and good. We'll go ahead and cut our tip. You wanna make sure you find that seam of the bag, which runs right along here. And then you're gonna flip it on its side so that it's pointing off to the side and flatten the tip of that bag, just like that. Okay? And we're gonna take some sharp scissors, and this one's actually already cut, but I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. Some sharp scissors and we're gonna go straight across the edge, just like that. Okay, and then once that's open, we're going to run our fingers back down that seam and push it open and open up our piping bag, okay? Always start small. You can make it um, bigger if you'd like, but always start small and then go from there, okay? So we're gonna start with our camper and we're gonna pipe the outline and then we're gonna flood the middle, okay? So make sure the tip of your piping bag is clean like this, you can always just pull it off with your clean hands and fingers and we're going to start in the corner and we're going to start in the corner where you get really close to the bag to the cookie and apply gentle pressure and we're going to drop our icing like a rope okay right here I'm going to make a round portion for the wheel okay and I'm going to keep going around the rest of the cookie now when I change directions I like to stop and touch down to the cookie and then go the other way okay I'm going to stop there and come over here and lift up and again I'm dropping the icing like a rope I'm not super close to the cookie I'm letting that icing fall and create my outline okay now that my outline is done I'm gonna go ahead and flood it to flood it we're gonna get close to the cookie again and we're going to apply more pressure so that that icing stacks up on itself okay and we see this is a lot um, thicker of an application and that's okay we need that so that the icing will settle um, when it's completely flooded so I'm gonna I'm gonna push that that uh, stack or puff of icing around the entire cookie okay I'm gonna fill all the way in don't be afraid of using too much icing because you need that icing for the cookie to flood and for everything to settle I'm gonna take my scribe tool or my skewer and I'm just gonna settle everything out a little bit. Make sure all those lines are gone. Any air bubbles right now you could pop too. Just with the tip of your skewer, okay? If you're having trouble, you can always stick the cookie and give it a little shake like that. And that gets everything nice and settled out. So I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on my fan and I'm actually gonna set that cookie in front of the fan so that it has a chance to dry so that we can put the, the details on it in a little bit, okay? Next up is our flamingo. And um, he's also a two-step cookie, so we're gonna do the first step and then put him in front of the fan so he can dry. Um, so again, let me show you. We've got our piping bag. And here's the seam that goes right down the middle. Okay, we're gonna turn that on its side so the seam is facing this way. And then we're gonna push down and flatten that tip, okay? Once that tip is nice and flat, we're gonna take our sharp scissors and we're gonna cut straight across. Starting small, we can always get bigger later. And then go back to that seam and push it down. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, we've got our flamingo here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do his um, body, okay? And then we're gonna add the legs and the beak and the eye later. So I like to start down here at the corner. I always like to start in the corner if I can. And I'm gonna drop my rope of icing. And this is a little curvy, so take your time. Right here. And then I'm gonna stop where the beak starts. And I'm gonna go straight up. And I'm gonna follow that curve again on the way back. Over the back of the bird, and there's this little part where it goes in like this and like that. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flood. Remember, we're stacking that icing up. We're applying more pressure. We're not afraid of too much icing because we need a good layer of icing. And we like to be kind of systematic about this because if you just kind of squiggle icing all over the place, it's not gonna give you a nice level result, okay? So you wanna be do a nice flood all about the same height and amount, okay? Take your clean skewer and you're gonna fill in any holes, knock out all those lines, okay? If you saw a part that wasn't that you'd like to go out a little farther, you can always push it out like this with your skewer. Kind of change the outline a little bit. Okay. Get rid of any air bubbles. And the uneven parts, just kind of knock them out. And this part, you can, you can take his feet and kind of tap them there. Be careful because these are thin parts of the cookie. Give them a little tap and that will um, settle everything out too. Okay. I'm just adjusting here. I saw a little part that didn't curve as much as the other one. So yeah. All right. So that's our base for our flamingo. I'm going to go ahead carefully pick him up and put him in front of the fan as well. Um, if you don't have a fan, um, those guys probably need about 15 to 20 minutes before you do the next steps. Um, the fan will knock that down to about five minutes. Um, okay, our cactus is right here. Our cactus is really simple. It's just a flood of green with um, white sprinkles on top. Okay, so you're gonna start at a corner. Again, we get very close to the cookie. Apply gentle pressure and once the icing hits the cookie, we're gonna lift up and come all the way up and around and we're dropping it like a rope and we're going around all these curves just like so and right back to the beginning okay and then we'll go ahead and flood so we're going to stack that icing again we're going to fill in all that space on every part of the cactus. All the way around. Okay. Take your skewer, make sure it's clean. You don't wanna drag pink through your green. Just like this. All right, and give a little shake, 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 shake. Okay. And you've got two different types of sprinkles here. I gave you the white ones because they kind of, you know, resemble more of like a cactus, um, I don't know, spike kind of feel. So just keeping them all one color and dropping all of my white ones over as many or as few as you'd like however you want it to look okay and that's it for a cactus and i actually did one with the rainbow sprinkles as well so that's how he looks a little more festive a little more colorful whoops um this guy on the left is a little more traditional just depends on your preference whatever you'd like um but that guy's done so we are going to push those two out of the way um while our camper and our um, flamingo are still driving we're gonna do our tie-dye and this is one where I'd like you to watch the whole thing first and then go back and do it with me um, this is a different technique that you're gonna want to see um, ex uh, um, demonstrated first um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pipe the outline for this shape it's a hexagon and then I'm going to flood it but not in the way that you're probably expecting so I'm gonna start with my green. You can start with any color you'd like because this is our tie-dye effect. There's not really a ton of rules to this. So I'm gonna outline. I see right there, that's one of my tips of my piping bag. We don't want that there. Anyways, uh, keep doing your outline. 
this. And I'm gonna start like a regular flood. I'm gonna flood around the edges of this. A nice thick border. Okay, I don't want any holes or any gaps. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pink and I'm gonna do a heart in the middle. Now you can do a heart, you can do a spiral, you can do anything you'd like. But I'm gonna do a heart, okay? And I'm going to follow that heart around with my white. Now we're doing, this is like a flood the entire time. So we're not really doing the piping where you're dropping your rope. We're doing flood sized outlines, okay? I'm just going to keep alternating colors so I get a fun design pattern. And that last one I'm going to fill in with my white. And this does not have to look perfect. You'll see what we're going to do in just a minute. Okay. You can add a little more pink if you want. Okay. So we want to Tap this out like we would a regular flood. Make sure it's smooth and there's no holes or bubbles or anything like that. And then we're gonna start from the middle and we're gonna drag our skewer out to the ends, okay? And we're gonna start and we're just gonna keep going around like this. So I'm just starting in the middle of my heart and I'm wiping the skewer off in between each pass because I don't wanna drag all those colors through. All right. I'm just gonna keep going around the shape of the heart. It's giving us a fun tie-dye effect all the way around. All right, so just give that a little tap again. If you see any spots that need some adjusting, you can do that with your stick. If you see, sometimes there's some pickup points right here, you can just go in and knock them down a little bit. Just, just mess with them a little bit until they disappear. Like that, like that, yep. Looks cool. You could add sprinkles to this or you can just leave it like it is. I'm gonna leave it like that. I really like that, like that. Good job, you got a tie-dye. Okay, so my camper is over here. Um, it's been drying in front of the fan. This is not dry by any means, but it has crusted over a little bit so that we can work on some details, okay? Um, the first detail we're gonna do is the door. So we're gonna put a door right here, and then we're gonna do some lines across it, a little decoration on top, and the wheel, okay? So using our pink, I'm just, you, know, you guys are just gonna, okay, the door you wanted about that size. So we're gonna start right here at the bottom and we're going to lift up and drop our rope of icing in the shape of a door. So just stop right there, just like that. All right. Now we're gonna do one pink line straight across and two greens, okay? So I'm just gonna start over here and just go as straight as you possibly can and drop my rope of icing and I'll stop right there and pick it up over here. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing with my green. So I'm gonna drop a line of green right here. Stop right at the door, pick it up, keep going. And one more line of green down at the bottom. We'll give our door a little handle with the green. Okay, and then up here, I'm gonna do a line that just goes along the top corner, just like that. And I'm gonna give it some decorations. So I'm gonna do pink dots that just go along 
like this. All right, last thing would be our wheel. Our wheel's right down here. We're gonna fill it in with green and then put a pink center. Actually, I'm gonna fill it in with pink and do a green center. So you wanna pipe the bottom half of the tire down like this. Okay, and then you'll go ahead and flood in that whole area. So really stack that icing nice and high, applying a lot of pressure. Okay, we're gonna use our skewer to round it out. Just move it in circles, make sure every part is touching the, the white part of the camper. Okay, and while it's wet, we're gonna drop a big green dot in the middle so that it looks like a tire. All right. There you go, there's our camper. Of course, you can do any color combination. You can add sprinkles, you can do a half pink, half green trailer, totally up to you guys. Um, this is just the example I wanna show you. Okay, so this guy is done. We're gonna push him out of the way. We'll grab our flamingo, bring him front and center. Okay, and our flamingo, we are gonna give him a wing right here on top. Okay, so this is again a freeform thing. You kind of have to be on your own for this one, but we're gonna make, it's kind of like a teardrop shape right here for the wing on top of um, his base of feathers. So I'm gonna start right here at a point and I'm gonna follow the shape of the bird and then I'm gonna come up here and follow the top shape of the bird, just like that, okay? I'll go ahead and flood that in. Now we wanna try not to touch the um, surface of the layer that that's already there. So I don't wanna break through it, but if you do, it's not that big a deal. Um, but just leave that a little, little zhuzh to make sure everything is cool. And now we've got a 3D wing on their bird, okay? There's a couple more details. We're gonna give them a little eye right there. Our beak. We're just gonna go, you can, you can just actually pipe a blob on there and then take your skewer and pull it out to the end, whatever works best for you, okay? And our legs, we're gonna do one leg coming straight down. So this one's coming straight down. We'll give them a little foot. And then this one, we're gonna go like a number four. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna come out to this joint and out here, and another little foot. And if you want to fix things or manipulate them, you can always just use your little scribe tool. And that works. All right, that is our full set. We've got our flamingo, our camper, our tie-dye, and our cactuses done with two cacti. I should say, done with two different sprinkles. All right, that's our Couchella set, and I hope you guys had fun. Remember, these take six to eight hours to dry, um, so leave them out uncovered um, on your counter or overnight um, for six to eight hours, and the icing will be um, hardened like a candy coating on top of your cookie. But I hope you guys have fun. Thank you.